Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we will be going into the Bitcoin chart together going over the current drop that we're seeing on Bitcoin and the most important support and resistance levels to be aware of on this week of trading. So as you know you're here for the most professional technical analysis on YouTube. We're not going to have any shilling, no Moonboy stuff, just pure technical analysis that you've come to love. So without further said or do, let's get into what we love together. The charts so bitcoin 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 we obviously saw a move up yesterday up to around forty nine thousand dollars holding just shy of that big big resistance of fifty thousand dollars this is just in my opinion a psychological level it's like a level that you have to imagine people that have been making really good profits on this way up. This is naturally going to be a really big take profit level. So you, so the selling pressure in the market basically increases. You're seeing an increase in people willing to sell at this level, primarily profit taking. Because obviously, like we say many, many, many times, unrealized profit is fake money. OK, you, you don't actually make profit until you sell. So naturally, at such a psychological level, fifty thousand dollars, people are people are interested in selling here. So that's kind of why you get these buildups of you know a really tight battle between support and resistance, really tight battle between the bulls and the bears. And ultimately, on on this battle, we can say the bears have slightly come out on top. Nothing major. This is just a small move, in my opinion. If you're if you're worried about this move to the downside, there's one of a few things that why you might be worried or emotional at this moment in time number one you're using too much leverage if you are scared about this move to the downside then you're just using too much leverage number two you, you don't have a good trading plan <laughs> like uh yeah just period you don't have a good trading plan if you're worried about this move and thirdly i suppose you just don't have a plan at all so if you have no plan and you see this move to the downside and you start panicking you start getting emotional then you know you're going to lose money let's just put it like that um so yeah, I think if you approach this in a non-emotional way, you just cover the most important support and resistances, which I'm going to go over now. Um, you know, there's no reason to be emotional, worried or anything like that in this video. Just, just purely trade the charts. It's pretty clear why we rejected off this region. It's, in my opinion, just simply because of that big 50,000 psychological level. You had a little bit of a front run and, well, selling pressure in the end came too much and you, you fall to the downside. And what you have to remember is... I mean, I personally am under the perspective that if you're buying at $49,000 on the weekends, you know, what is going through your thought process right now? What In what world is buying $49,000 on a weekend a good, it's a good buy, I think. It shows a, a massive sign of fear of missing out. And it also shows a massive sign of having no patience. You know, buying up at these levels is, in my opinion, really crazy i suppose and, and not, just not a good idea in any any way shape or form like buying the all-time high weekend i don't know doesn't generally work in a very good idea uh so what did you have that really went on here obviously you had this rising wedge so you did have a rising wedge and that obviously is a it is a bearish pattern so it's when you form this curling up price action you curl up you curl up you curl up in the end you couldn't even breach the fifty thousand dollar psychological that would have been in my opinion a good short but didn't breach it in the end and you you know you you fall back down and this is the really interesting part. You know, this is where we can say we absolutely love technical analysis and we love trading the charts because have a guess. What is the Fibonacci level of chart champions? Well, our Fibonacci level is the CC. And ladies and gentlemen, if you look where we bounce from here, OK, we take our fibs from the low up to that high. And you can see we come straight down into that CC support. So you form a rising wedge, which is obviously is a bearish pattern. You, you fall down from the rising wedge. But then the level where you bounce, just just look at the precision on that. That is the CC Fibonacci level. And you're bouncing off of that with utter precision uh, for a move, obviously, a, a bounce to the upside. So I think we can all acknowledge and agree that that is clearly a really big support level. That's obviously coming in there a low of around $45,800. So we can say that $45,800 is a really, really big support currently. Okay, it was the CC. You also took some lows, and you know you've had a you've had a strong bounce from that level. If you actually see here, if we come down on a lower term time frame, obviously we bounced from the CC. Uh, you know here when we hit 
45,800. And then if you look again from the low to the high, you come back into then the CC and you bounce again. So it's like you bounce from the overall CC. And even if you miss that move, if you have a little bit of patience, you have a secondary move into then this CC. So I mean, yeah, let's just say there's been plenty of opportunities should you have wanted to long this instead of, you know, instead of longing up at all time highs on a weekend, you've got, you got to wait for those retracements. You've got to wait for those better areas of value. And I, and I truly believe that just requires a little bit of patience. Obviously, it requires having a plan. And there's no need to be worried or emotional when price is coming down here. Uh, obviously, I've done a I done a champions live stream last night, uh, the fourteenth Valentine's Day. We were going for a champions live stream last night, where I personally have a plan, and all I can say I don't want to give away the exact levels that I'm looking to buy, because obviously this is for the champions who have who are in the membership. But nevertheless, I was. I, all I can say is I'm happy that we got a drop to the downside and I don't think there's any reason to be worried or fearful about these drops. They're just offering good trades. Let's put it like that. Um, but yeah, move, moving on. I mean, yeah, to, to give you the really important support there on Bitcoin, in my opinion, it really is that 45,800. Uh, that is, again, the, the CC support. We have now taken the lows and, well, there's... Uh, it's just really in, in my opinion the, the support of today okay the support of today obviously tomorrow you could break support and, and head back down or alternatively we can start to reclaim once again our resistances and look towards a potential all-time high again so so where are our resistances then well if you look at the you know if this was our support trend line uh, you know on the rising wedge one would generally say that if you lose a support trend line that you can back test it as resistance and if it holds then you know you can expect another move to the downside or alternatively you get back above it and you know sky's the limit i suppose again then and that so if we are looking for a back test on this again it's a little bit arbitrary of are we going to pull it from here and then you can see if you pull it directly on the wicks if you zoom in here really closely you can see this is the exact wick touch that's the exact wick touch exact wick touch and we basically done a perfect back test there so you uh, from the trend line you have done a perfect support support back test of resistance so that's one thing to bear in mind if you're putting it directly on the wicks and you know the the other way that you can pull this is is basically attaching up to some of the you know bigger lows with the candle closes and if you do it from the candle closes and you haven't quite done your back test you might not get that back test till around forty eight thousand six hundred dollars so I think your key resistance right now is really forty five thousand six hundred dollars. If you if you start to get back above forty five, sorry, if you start to get back above forty eight thousand six hundred dollars, which is your key resistance, well then naturally you can be looking towards fifty thousand dollars again. Um, quite simply, so I feel you have two really important levels today. You have forty five thousand eight hundred support, and then you have that. 48,600 resistance. So you have a very clearly defined resistance and support. Naturally, if you lose this support, you look down for lower levels. And if you reclaim this resistance as support, then you look up for higher levels. Okay, I don't feel that the trade is that it's not really that difficult today. And again, if you approach this in a totally non emotional way, just totally focused on the charts and the technicals that you have here, yeah, I, I don't feel that this is. Um, a surprise really that you come down from here i mean you just have to think there's lots of people interested in selling at fifty thousand. it's a weekend and cooped with the fact you know who who, who buys at those levels and then you obviously see a flush to the downside and then is there a surprise that you bounced off the cc in my opinion not no no it isn't really a surprise one would imagine that you get a bounce off of there whether it holds overall is another question but then when you have a cc and you come down into it again i mean your risk is so small um so naturally you, you get bounces off of these levels you know um so you know that, that's my opinion on the chart again this is a very professional driven analysis where i'm just truly looking at the charts and i'm giving a support a clear support if that clear support is lost you look down for your next lower support a clear resistance if that clear resistance is broken you look up for your next resistance level and so it's you're you're approaching the chart in a level to level um I was going to say manera. Uh, this is obvious. You're approaching it a level to level way, um, which is, which in my opinion is the best way to trade. You're not going to be driven by emotions. You're not going to be driven by fear. You're not going to be driven by either fear or fear of missing out. 
none of those things that block off many traders you're just truly driven from level to level Same resistance look to the next one lose support look to the next one it's the way that i love to trade it's the in my opinion the best way to trade and you know until proven otherwise that's the way i'm always going to trade so um yeah that's what i wanted to cover in this video uh we've pr purely gone over bitcoin uh so for a summary so for a quick summary i've given you in my opinion the reason why we we came down from here in the end it was just too much selling pressure a mixture of people over leveraged people trying to buy the all-time high on the weekend and also the fact that there's a lot of selling pressure at fifty thousand dollars you fall down from your rising wedge you bounce off to cc and now we've activated our next really important resistance and next really important support that will hopefully last you a few days um what we'll always say is if this video let's say gets i don't know 1800 likes then i will do a live stream for you within the next 48 hours talking you through bitcoin um so it's as simple as that if you want to see a live stream from me give a like to the video and yeah we'll get a live stream to you within 48 hours if, if we hit the like goal uh if not i hope you have a brilliant week ahead of trading I personally, I'm going to, I'm personally going to be looking forward to this week. I have my plan absolutely set in stone, exactly how I'm going to trade it. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the opportunities presented here, really. So have a brilliant week, everybody. Thank you ever so much. And hopefully you crush the charts and make some money. Uh, thank you ever so much. Have a good day and goodbye. Cheers.